Ladies and gentlemen, guess who's back? It's your boy, Moonshot Max, bringing you all this drip content that you love. And on today's episode, we are celebrating. We are so excited that drip will never change like the other so-called contracts. We are 100% authentic. We are not going to do anything else but what was promised to us from the start. A lot of these other projects, man, they be acting mad shady. They talk about a good game when they first come out. It's all eye candy, but all of a sudden, they start to change things up. They start to change the rules on you, and all of a sudden, you feel stuck. You feel hurt. You feel sabotaged. You feel stabbed behind your back. I don't know what's going on, but yo, today, we're going to talk about it. Hit that like, smash that subscribe for your boy. We're going to get busy and get straight into this video. So guys, what am I saying? This video is never, ever financial advice. You're going to have to do your own research, and shame on you if you don't do your own research but the drip network is still paying out that one percent every single day we had a slight price pump especially with the you know the forex chart ama that was focused on drip i believe it went up to like two dollars and like 15 cents and now we are going back down but the price is still hanging around a dollar 83 which is good you know the drip network is all about the sentiment of the community whatever we feel if we feel bullish the price go up if we feel bearish the price starts to go down but the animal farm is doing very very well yo that busd tvl is growing each and every day before you know it it's gonna be like 150 million and by the time it hits christmas you never know it could be over 200 million dollars but anyway let's talk about these projects out here that's changing right before our eyes and we have many examples of these projects and they're doing these slow rugs, they're rugging us, they're do, just changing things up. Now, one of the projects that I talked about on my channel before, I didn't really endorse it that much, but it was paying out a certain amount of rewards every single day, which was Scarlet Chains. Now, Scarlet Chains, of course, came from the Red Light Node District, which was a huge project, especially during the bull run of last year. But when they came out with these Scarlet Chains, they had these taxes, 15% just to claim and 15% to sell. And they said, these taxes are there for the sustainability of the project. But lo and behold, they have a V2 that is coming out. The website is down right now and they're upgrading the entire contract. And of course, this is an upgrade that's not going to be good for the investors that got in. All right, so let me just show you why I feel so sorry for all the people who got into this protocol and how they just switching up everything. They're introducing this new ROI tax, which is gonna be a big hefty tax on your rewards. You see, I got in for free because I was part of the red light no district. So the, when the migration happened, I got my Scarlet Chains for free. So they're going to be introducing this thing called shadow taxes which is once you ROI 100% of your principal investment, once it reaches 100% to 200%, you are gonna get hit with an extra 30% tax, which means 30% plus 15% is 45%, plus if you wanna sell the SCAR token, that's an extra 15%. If you ROI above 200% to 400%, there's going to be an extra 60% tax 60 plus 15 is 75 percent tax and then once you get 400 percent roi your scarlet chain is going to just die out and not give any rewards kind of like horde now let me put this in in little money perspective so you could understand what's really going on suppose you're getting a reward token of scar of 20 dollars each and every day once you reach over 100 percent you're only gonna get not $20, but you're only gonna get $11 until you hit 200% ROI. Once you hit 200% and above, you're only gonna get $5 now <laughs> as rewards every single day. So you can see that the rewards are just diminishing. Why? Because the protocol don't have no real utility. There's no way that they're gonna be able to sustain all these rewards that these scarlet chains are you know generating so therefore they are slashing the rewards which is not cool at all imagine you went to a job right and they promised you 
like a hundred thousand dollars a year you signed up with the job you've been working with them for like three months and then all of a sudden um month number four you get your paycheck and your paycheck is usually like two thousand dollars and all of a sudden your paycheck is like what nine hundred dollars you're gonna go to <laughs> right human resources and say hey what's going on guys my paycheck just went down what's going on and then they say oh 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 yeah sorry the new v2 is coming out and then you know your job <laughs> you know we can't afford to pay you a hundred thousand dollars a year so we're gonna have to just slash your paycheck down like how are you gonna feel i'm gonna feel hurt i'm gonna feel like i'm getting stabbed in the back now most companies they'll just let you go 99 percent of the time they offer you a severance package and they let you go on your merry way because they know it's hard for somebody to be making this much money and go down to a certain amount of money and still do the same job in a happy fashion and crypto is the same way if forex shark ever ever changes these rewards people are gonna be hurt people are gonna not want to compound anymore people's gonna say yo i'm gonna keep selling my drip i committed to at the launch of drip that the core mechanics of our core contracts will never change and i made this commitment and the reason why i made this commitment is twofold one because these are contracts where your principal is being locked and we can't have contracts where your principal is being locked and then we change the rules after you've locked your principal so for that reason we will never change any of the core mechanics of drift and then secondly there were so many other projects out there and there have been so many other products out there that were good they worked you know uh through through price cycles prices up prices down they work and they continue to pay out yield but then the developers for whatever reason you know they get greedy or some of them have good intentions but they just you know they can't take being in a bear cycle and they can't take the price being down so they try to make some change to make the price go up and it ends up just ruining the system, either outright breaking the system, uh, allowing for some exploits, just changing the game theory. Uh, if you have a system where people are getting their principal locked up and then you change the rules of the system after that, it makes everybody who would consider locking up their principal lose confidence knowing that there's a chance that they could lock their principal under these terms and then the terms could change after the fact. So I made this commitment that we would never change the core mechanics of drip. Hey, yo, Moonshot Max, but my protocol is not cutting down these rewards. They're just putting sell limits, man. And that's a good thing for sustainability, right? I mean, do they have buy limits too? If I wanted to buy a thousand tokens, can I buy it? Oh, but, but yeah, you can. But wait, so I can only sell, uh, what, a hundred? Yeah, every day. So wait, if I have a max wallet and I generate... <laughs> more than 200 tokens a day and i only could sell 100 what am i gonna do with the other 100 man that's a good question but the drip network community don't have to think about stuff like that because our contracts will never change and guys think about it suppose you have food in your fridge right and the food is going down each and every day and you think that one day you're gonna ultimately starve wouldn't you go out to the fields and start planting some seeds to grow some more food to put it back in the fridge like that's why these protocols ain't doing. They're cutting rewards. They're basically saying you cannot have this much food to eat every day because we're running out of food. Man, go outside to, to the fields, man, and start planting some seeds and growing some food, man. Come up with some brand new use case utility for your token. That's the answer. But 99% of these devs can't do it. They don't have the intellectual capacity to do it. And all they're doing is cutting down your rewards and putting these sell limits, man. I don't know, man. I can't deal with that stuff. That's why I stayed with the Drip Network. Anyway, if you found substance in this video, hit that like, smash that subscribe for your boy. This is your boy, Moonshot Max, taking you straight to the moon. I'm going to see you guys on the next video very, very soon. Peace out.